everybody. I have not done a video in quite a while, but wanted to do a video on this uh, today. Basically, I am doing a video on a new, well, relatively new, I guess it's been out since April, but it hasn't really been talked about much, but a new way to auto update your flux nodes uh, through a script that you can put on your nodes. Uh, for me, I have been doing it manually because I didn't want flux to do it close to uh, a maintenance window. And I didn't want it to update when it was just about to pay out. This script fixes both of those. And by the way, this is my second take because I obviously haven't done this in a while because I had no sound on the first one. So hopefully this one's a heck of a lot better. So let's get right into it. Okay, so over here we have our, my flux nodes, which we'll get into a little bit later, but I've already done this on one of my nodes. Actually, I've done it on three nodes so far. One, it shouldn't have actually done anything yet. The other one, it actually executed already. And the other one is due to execute now in about 25 minutes. Uh, but basically what this script does is it gets the node information using Flux CLI. Then it calculates the number of blocks for the maintenance window. They will not update within 20 minutes of the maintenance window closing. So it makes sure that it is not gonna do it like five minutes before the maintenance window and then you're not gonna actually be done in time. So and in other words, your node will go down because of the timing of it. So it checks for that, which is great. The other thing I really like about this is it calculates the node queue window based upon the current rank compared to the highest rank in the tier. So in other words, they will only update within two days of your most recent payout. So it reduces your risk of losing your spot in line right when you're just about to pay out when they do the update. So again, that's a great thing that they added to this. The other part of this is, is, is the auto update that's done by the node itself, by Flux OS, is only updating the Flux OS software. This script also updates the Linux software, which the Flux OS team has said, you guys gotta make sure you're keeping your nodes up to date, your, the Linux up to date. So this does all of that for you. Um, also when it's doing the upgrade, it also checks to see if a reboot is required as well. Um, and if the reboot's not required, it exits, exits the script. I know on mine, the first time it did it, and I'm sure the next time it does it at one o'clock, 1 a.m., um, it will also require uh, an, a, a reboot. Uh, and then with checking the Flux OS, this is the script that it uses. So it's really, really simple to actually activate, which is just basically copying this command and putting it in, in fact, what I will do is I will put, I will open up one that I haven't done yet and it's not gonna be done for a while. I will go through the process on one that is not due to be updated for quite a while. So, um, but I will, I will start, I will show you how it's done on that one. Okay, so first command. And again, this is, um, this is just getting the actual script itself. Downloads it and puts it in the spot. The next one is actually scheduling it and doing all the other things that need to be done. Now this one is being done at 2300 UST. So um, you can adjust that number. This is where you do it, is right there in the script. For me, 23 UST is uh, basically 5 p.m. Uh, for central daylight time. So, um, I'm sorry, 6 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. It will be 5 p.m. Central Standard Time once we do the time change. But I'm okay with the 2300. That's a good time for me. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it. Now, one thing I did before I even make, make this go, if you want to change the time at all, what I did, because I had to do this on one of mine, well, two of mine actually, is if you have already executed this, take out the and make directory cron tab logs. Um, that's already been done. And so you're not gonna be able to make a directory of something that's already been made. So you just take that out, modify the number over here, you're gonna be good. There's probably a lot of other things you can take out of this command, but that's what worked for me. Let me 
go ahead and so now this is all set to go for to execute this script uh at uh 6 p.m central daylight time uh tomorrow now for me this one which is this one right here um won't do anything tomorrow because it's with it's too close to the payout date it's not within the last two days so this will continue to to do that at six o'clock until it actually goes through and uh gets its payout and then it will update so i need to do this on all of these these four i've already done it on this one this one this one and this one so the first two and the last two this one hasn't been done this is the one that we will see at 1 a.m um it should update and let me check one other thing here because um when i checked my the one that's already gone through it had a bunch of mongo database updates that didn't get updated and they wouldn't update which is fine i'm sure that's because of some compatibility issues flux os doesn't want them to update but i want to see the state that this is in because the two pies were updated the last time at the exact same time so let me see where we are with this one to see what updates we'll do sudo apt update that to complete and then apt list upgradable this will give us the list yeah so there's a lot of other things that still need to be updated so those will be updated in the next go around except for all those mongo database well five of those mongo database ones will not be updated all the ones that say uh upgradable from 4.4.18 those five will not be updated but everything else will be it is 12 59 a.m it is about to go through actually just turned 1 a.m so we will not be able to see anything in the actual uh command line itself it's doing it all in the background uh what we will see in here is when it goes to reboot the putty session will disconnect that's what we will see once that is done it'll take a little bit of time uh, to actually finalize and start the process of uh, of the new benchmark and show the fact that it's been updated so we'll wait here as it goes through this all righty so i don't know if you guys could hear that but the remote side unexpectedly closed network connection that tells me that it rebooted all right, I am able to log back in. But I can tell there's a lot of disk activity, so I'm going to log back in, but I'm not really going to do anything yet. All right, so I've got the pie right in front of me, so I can tell when the disk activity is going to pause. So, so far it is blinking away, so we're going to let it do its thing for a little while, and then... Uh, once I see it pause, we'll check up on it. And it looks like it's slowed down. So let's do this. We are going to go into the multi toolbox. Check up on it. See if the flux has been updated. Oh, it's still that light is still blinking away. So it's obviously still taking care of a few things. Yep. Looks like everything is working properly. You can see it's been updated to 4.14.1 from 4.13. So that has been completed. When I do an update here, uh, it will show it. But let's check the other part of this. Um, let's check the sudo apt update. sudo apt update. Pull everything down. And then let's look at apt list 
upgradable. And look, there's those five files I said, but everything else has been updated. So it took care of my Linux update as well as my Flux OS update. And it did it automatically at a scheduled time and will only do it when it is within the two days after uh, your last payout. So basically, it'll once it's on the system, it will do it the day after your payout at whatever time you, you set. So, uh, so let's say you get a payout at noon, but this thing's set to go at six. Well, you got a payout at noon, so it's going to run at six and it's going to update at that point if there's an update available and if there's any Linux updates available. So love this. Uh, let me just do some more verification and I will show you with it being updated. So as you can see, that one has been updated. Uh, so it was done automatically. So I love this new piece of software. I uh, appreciate uh, the person that did this. His name is Mike8643. So thank you, Mike. Uh, this worked great for me. I don't see any issues with it. So I'm looking forward at implementing this in the rest of my Flux nodes as well. Uh, I've got four more to run this on. I'm going to actually do that before I go to bed tonight uh, so that I am all set going forward. So again, hope that helps somebody out there, guys. You guys all have a great day and uh, hope to see some more videos from me coming out soon. Have a good one. General out. Oh, and one more thing. I am this close to 4,000 subscribers. I am really looking forward to getting over that hump because it's been a while that I've been at 3,900. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more content from me. So I would really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, now really, General is out. Have a good one.